In this video, we're going to learn how to set up MongoDB on Windows 10. So the first thing you want to do is go to MongoDB's website, and it's just MongoDB.com. Pretty simple. Then what you want to do is go to Products right here, and then you want to go to Community Server, and then select that. And it should load one of these days, yes. Then what we want is we're going to... Um, use MongoDB locally. Now we're gonna, this is just a setup video, uh, future videos, obviously we're gonna do everything locally. Um, so that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna select that, and then you're gonna get this um, dialog box down here that shows you the version, which the current version is 5.0.6. Windows, yep, and you want MSI. So you hit download to that. Make sure it's MSI, by the way, that's what you want. So that's gonna come down, you can see it's 285, Meg, quite a bit. Um, and then if you're in Google Chrome, you're just going to show this in the folder and then click on it. I almost said right click on it. No, we're not right clicking. Um, and then you're going to go ahead and follow most of, the, of this uh, part of the installation is just next, next, next. So you're going to hit next. You're going to accept the agreement. Pretty simple stuff here. We're going to do the complete install. Um, we're going to take all these defaults right here. We're going to take all these defaults. We're going to run it as a service. By the way, the service runs as a background service. Uh, so we need to set up an environment variable. It's extremely easy to do. So we're going to do that. Just keep hitting next, hit install. And then it uh, takes a little bit here to do that. And I might hit the pause button. This can take a little bit. So I think I'll hit the pause button and then come back when it's, uh, and it's good to go. All right, we're back and it's it's going now. I actually had to click on something down here. I wasn't paying attention. Uh, basically said, hey, we're gonna reboot the computer. Thanks a lot for that. Um, so it's going, this may take a few minutes. I do remember this being a little bit of time. So maybe I'll hit the pause button again. So I'm not wasting your guys' time and you're sitting here watching a status bar, which I'm sure you guys don't wanna do. Yeah, we'll hit the pause button again and we'll come back when it's done. Okay, we're back. Uh, finally completed. Let's go ahead and hit the finish button. And now it wants me to restart. Oh, okay. So it wants all this. Okay, so yeah, you may get this if you do it. Uh, you know, Windows will need to put some updates on. So I'm going to go ahead and restart this and we'll come back yet again. Okay, well, we're back. Um, my uh, laptop rebooted and now we've got MongoDB installed, and I hope you do too. Pretty simple stuff. All right, so now what we're going to do, we're not done. We actually, as I said, this runs as a background process, so we need to add a, uh, uh, an environment variable, and it's really easy to do. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to go here, uh, navigate to uh, your C drive, program files, and then you're going to find your MongoDB installation. You're going to go to server, you're going to go to 5.0, and then you're going to go to bin. You can see, by the way, I had a previous version on here. That's fine, um, but don't worry about that. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you're going to navigate, then and you're going to open up the bin folder. So we want all of this, all the way into the bin, and then you're going to copy that. So we're going to right-click, copy, and then we're done. We're just going to go ahead and close that out, and then we're going to go up to the Start menu and just type in Environment. Um, you're going to get hit edit environment variables, you're gonna hit that again. And we're down in this system part, not the user variable, you're gonna be down in the system variable. We're gonna to go to path. And I'm having issues right now. Okay, so you're gonna double click path, and then you're gonna hit new, and we're just gonna go ahead and paste that right in here. And that's it. Now it's in, we're gonna hit okay to that. And we are good to go. Now, what we're going to do is go to the run, uh, the command line, basically. And you're just going to type in Mongo. That's all you need to do now. And boom. This means we are good to go. Take a look at all this. Tells you what version you're on. And everything's working. Did generate some warnings and that's fine. That's just a warning. We don't really care about warnings, do we? It's unrestricted. Yeah, so that's just basically a security thing. Basically saying you probably shouldn't do that. We don't really care. Um, 
because we're not really, uh, we're just going to be using this for tutorials. So uh, we're not too concerned about that. But um, yeah, there you go. Okay, so now we're not done yet. Uh, we want to make sure that it's working. So we're going to hit show DBS. And this, what this basically is going to do is show all the databases. And there it is. Nothing in them right now, but that definitely, if you put that command in, that tells you if it's actually working. If it throws an error or something, it means it didn't work. So there you go. You've now got MongoDB installed, and I will see you guys in the next video for the um, uh, complete playlist. I will put that in the description of this video. Thank you very much.